now I have to put, I've washed the pot. I'm now putting it on the gas. I want to make okra soup, vegetable okra soup. I'll start by adding the blended pepper to the pot. This pepper has been boiled with palm oil. Then I'll add stock, stock from the meat. I will add stock from the meat, a little. And I'll add blended, blended onion to the pepper. Now I can add my, my washed okra vegetables to the pepper and I will stir and allow it to boil for the next three minutes. The blended scotch bonnets with the onion and the washed okra vegetable needs to simmer for the next three minutes before adding all the other ingredients. This is because it will allow the taste of the vegetable to come out better after including the cooking. I assure you that this set would come out better when I'm ready or when I'm done. So let's leave it to simmer for the next three minutes and we'll now start adding the other ingredient. The okra has um, gone for it. I simmer for three minutes. So the next is to add the other ingredient. I still have my stock, stock from the meat to make it a little watery. I don't want it to get too sticky. So I will add fish. Fish is to give it a better taste. And this is smoked, washed smoked fish. This fish has been properly seasoned. Then I'm adding crayfish. Crayfish will bring out the taste better, better than it used to be. Crayfish too is very good. But you really have to look out for a properly stone-free crayfish from Undo. Undo's crayfish is usually Undo's crayfish is usually better, and it tastes better too. So I've added a little portion of it. I'm adding boiled crayfish. This will make the taste come out better, better than it used to be. Cref uh, the boiled crayfish has its own unique taste. The dry crayfish too also has their own unique taste. So I've added the two together to make the okra taste. Comes out better and more healthier. They have a lot of nutritional value when they are added to okra vegetable soup. Yes, I have our local uh, uh, iru, Dodawa. Iru in Yoruba is very key and very beneficial. It has health, its own health benefit. So I'm adding this iru to the okra vegetable. The taste will be fantastic by the time I'm done with this cooking. So in addition to that, I'm adding the cooked seasoned meat, boiled meat to the okra soup. It's also to enrich the taste and the the taste is seriously going to be beautiful by the time I'm done with it. So in addition to this, I'm going to add one more fresh seasoned pomo. 
to give it a better taste. All these ingredients I'm adding, adding has their own nutritional value. As you can see, I've not added any maggi to this vegetable stew I'm making. This is deliberate and we are cooking for health benefit. Salt, I didn't have salt, I only added a roux with the stock from the meat. And I'm almost, this okra soup is almost ready. But to also enrich the quality of what I'm doing, I'm also going to add small vegetable, the vegetable will make the taste better. So I'm adding washed ugu to the vegetable just to enhance the quality of the okra soup. You can make okra soup in various forms. But I'm adding this vegetable to the stew just to make sure the taste comes out better. But I won't boil it for too long. The ugu vegetable is not meant to be overboiled. So in the next two minutes, I should be done with what I'm cooking. And as you can see, the face of the okra soup is inviting and delicious. I didn't have salt, I didn't have maggi, and the health benefits is what you really cannot wait to get. So in the next two minutes, I'll be done with this cooking. I hope you enjoy my cooking. Thank you so much. Thank you.